here's why more profit doesn't always indicate a better strategy. A common misconception in quant finance is that the only important metric is profit, but that's not quite the truth. Take this graph as an example. Trader A made 10% profit over a year with a smooth, stable strategy. Trader B made 15%, but with inconsistent growth and too much risk. So which strategy is better? Well, it all depends on leverage. Leverage lets you use the same amount of capital to take bigger positions, multiplying both profit and risk. So if both traders use 10x leverage, Trader A's steady strategy makes 100% over that same year, but Trader B's risk wipes them out by month two. This is what the Sharpe Ratio calculates, how much return you make for each unit of risk, even with leverage. Thus, Trader A's strategy receives a higher Sharpe Ratio, since with infinite potential leverage, they can profit more than Trader B before going bankrupt. So next time you see someone showing off huge gains, question their risk, and follow Quant Tutor for more.